Welcome back everybody to my second attempt at Flight Simulator from Microsoft. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, Steam Edition. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it last time as a total noob. I didn't know what I was doing, but here I am. We're doing a tutorial with a beautiful Bombardier. I don't remember the model number, I'm sorry. This is from Orbit Airlines, and we're going to attempt to land this sucker over in Glasgow. So right now, that big Boeing 737 you see over in the distance is ready to take off. We are to taxi up to the line and wait. So what I have learned is how to uh, control this stuff a little better now. And I'm going to try to taxi this up. I've learned where the brakes are. I'm using a uh, Microsoft Xbox 360 controller, which... Uh, Obviously much more limited than an actual joystick, but we're ready to go, and guess what I'm forgetting? I'm giving it throttle. I better back off a little bit. Again, with the jets, it takes a while. There's a lag. I left the parking brakes on. Here we go. Not good. Let's tap the brakes a bit. Yep. I also learned you can turn with a rudder. I don't know if that's uh, what you do in real, but that's what uh, I'm kind of doing on this thing. Kind of brake, rudder. Must not be very comfortable for the <laughs> for the passengers. It never was. That last flight was even worse. But uh, let's ease off the. Give it no more throttle. We kind of turned hard. Stop here. Thanks, sir. One last thing. During the takeoff roll, I'll call out four speeds. When I call eighty knots, okay. glance at your airspeed tape to verify it's moving and indicate. Good. We're not going backwards. The same speed is mine. When I call V1, it means we're at the speed where we're committed to taking off because there isn't enough runway to stop at that point. When I say rotate, gently pull back on the stick and rotate the nose into the air. Finally, I'll call V2 when we reach the minimum safety speed at which we can safely climb on just one engine if there's a failure. Roll travel to 21, winds cam for the takeoff. Oh, cool, that thing's taken off. I love this radio chatter. So I just turned on my landing lights. I don't know if you saw those switches flip. There goes the uh, big 737. Orbit Over and out. Position and hold, orbit 526. Okay, we're cleared to taxi onto the runway, but not to take off yet. Taxi ahead and turn right onto the runway. Stop once you're on the runway and lined up with the center line. Acknowledged. Let's get out there. It's a big runway. It seems like I'm just coming out onto the half. Panel and turn on the landing light by clicking the switch in the lower left corner. Then press shift 5 again to close the overhead. Before we take off, let's Already read done. exactly what will happen. You'll control the aircraft. I'll handle the radios. I'll call out 80 knots, V1, rotate, and V2. When I say rotate, gently pull back on the stick to raise the nose to 15 degrees nose up on the primary flight display. I'll tell you to retract the landing gear once we're climbing. Once we reach 1,000 feet above the runway, I'll tell you to pitch down to 10 degrees nose up and to raise the flaps so we can accelerate. Our initial <laughs> climb will be to our this is a lot of information. feet, and the departure controller will probably tell us to make a left turn to the west. I'll let you know when to turn. All right, thanks. Windsor cam, runway 6 right, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, orbit 526. All right, we're clear to go. When you're ready, use the throttle lever on your joystick or press the F3 key to add thrust. Start with 50% N1. Let the engine stabilize and then increase thrust to 100%. Line up a little more. All right, thanks. Tower, this is the actual pilot, not my co-pilot. We are ready to go. We're going to blast out of here. 50%. Here we go. Already jerking around. I don't know what's going on. Okay, all right, whatever. I'm just gunning it full throttle. 80 knots, call it out. Good. Give me V1. Good. Rotate. There we go. Whoa. Yes, we have launched. Yes, in the air. Awesome. Whoa. Switching. Okay. Move okay. Adjust pitch to 10 degrees nose up on the primary flight. 10 degrees nose up. Raise the flaps. Reduce thrust to a <laughs> Oh my god. And one to keep our speed below 250 knots. Okay, I'm at 260 knots right now. 
Still climbing. You're getting 6,000. Okay. 3,300 feet. We are losing speed. I need to... Okay. Coach fix. Still losing speed. That's due west. Yeah, got it. We're still climbing. Landing gear up. Making the turn. Flaps up. Everything's up. Flaps were never down. I screwed that up. One for the climb. After takeoff checklist complete. Perfect. Level off at six thousand feet and reduce thrust to about sixty percent N one. That should give us about two hundred and fifty knots. All right, so I'm too high. I'm over well over. I'm seventy five hundred feet. We're above our assigned altitude. Got Descend it. to six thousand feet. We'll stay low Calm on down. short flight, so don't exceed 250 knots. And Man, this is so nerve-wracking. This is standard practice below okay. 10,000 feet. <laughs> there is so much stuff this guy says to you. You just have to, like, go with it. Oh, my God. All right, I'm at 8,800 feet. Orbit 526, resume oh. navigation. Got it, got don't it. Don't exceed 250 knots below 10,000 feet. Resume on navigation. Orbit yep, over speed, I get it. All right, we've been told to resume our own navigation. I'm pretty much coasting. Our flight plan. Our flight plan route takes us to a point that will line us up for an approach okay. to Glasgow's runway 23, which is currently the active runway. Beautiful. You can use the mission compass to navigate to that, that countryside point, or you looks can beautiful. Our plan on the map page of the navigation display. The pink line on the screen is the path we should be following. Okay, you guys are getting as much of this tutorial as I am pretty much. I mean, I can I can't keep up with all the stuff going on. Oh, there's the Look at that, giant big green arrow in the sky. Too bad those things aren't there in real. That'd be awesome. <laughs> like some alien invasion. Like invade here. Alright, horizon line. We are... Oop, I am climbing again. We are leveled off. Give it some throttle. Sorry, no. We're losing speed, but I'll be gaining it back because I have to come below 7,500. Altimeter there says... 74... So I had it to 73. Okay, good, good. All right. All right, once I get everything steady, I'll give you an outside view. This is just so much stuff going on. Holy crap. This co-pilot of mine just doesn't shut up sometimes, and he just goes on and on. But it's all good info because I couldn't keep up with any of this. If he wasn't guiding me, we'd probably be in the water by now. <laughs> all right, so we are dropping to 6,700 feet. We are... Our airspeed is 260 knots. I know they wanted us at, what, 250? There's a little pink marker down there. So for some people who are not looking at, can't find where my speed is, basically that little horizon level thing on the left, the biggest screen on the bottom left, you see I'm pitching down about 5 degrees. To the left of that is the airspeed indicator. There's a little arrow. I'm at 260 knots. There's a little orange marker or pink marker at 250. That's where I need to be. Now on the right side is the uh, altitude indicator, and it seems like I'm constantly climbing. They want us at 6,000, so let's drop to 6,000. Going to drop a little quicker than we want to. So we have to back off the throttle because as we go down, as we descend, obviously our airspeed will increase. 6,000's got markers on it. All right, let's level off. Ooh, perfect. Look at that, 6,000, we're right about 6,000, and we're right at 250 knots, 6,100. Plane keeps wanting to climb, but that's yeah, good. Let's take a look, what we got, beautiful. Very nice. Orbit Airlines, Bombardier something something. <laughs> it's a pretty plane. Um, I'm pitched down again, let's pitch up a little bit. All right, let's just leave it. Beautiful Scottish countryside and river. Oh, that is great. I love how that looks. These might be 2006 graphics, or maybe they're updated for this new release, but this is wonderful. That is just beautiful. Off in the distance is, I believe, Glasgow Airport, they said, where we're headed. Hopefully we can make this landing. I have not made this landing before. I have not tried this before. Um, to be honest with the game crap kept crashing on me and I'm really hoping I can get through this without it crashing. Uh, 
I set the realism. Okay, so remember the last video I did, I didn't know what I was doing. I was completely noobed out, super noob. And I was doing some crazy things with the airplane. So I was talking about realism settings. Let me get back here before we go off course. No, we're still on course. What are we at? I've dropped speed quite a bit. Not too bad though, 220. I know I'm at 5,500 feet. Let's climb a bit. Give it a little throttle because we'll be climbing. Um, yeah, so the realism settings are all set to easy. So I moved everything to medium. Uh, I will be affected by overstressing the airplane. I think um, it will like to crash. If I did what I did last time, I think I would have crashed it. So that, that stuff's all been set. Um, I figured out uh, a lot of the keys. My Xbox 360, I know where all the throttle and brakes and all that stuff is. What's going on? Orbit 526 switching. Thanks. Glasgow approach. Orbit 526 with you. Okay. Orbit 526, Glasgow approach. Good morning. Reduce speed to 210 knots. Expect vectors for the visual approach. Runway 23 at Glasgow. Glasgow altimeter 29092. Slowing to 210 and we'll okay. expect the visual for runway 23. Orbit 526. Bring the thrust back to about 50% N1, then adjust it to maintain 210 knots. Since right. the weather's good, the controller will line us up with the runway and give us clearance to proceed to the airport visually once we have the runway in sight. Alright dude, we got that. I am killing throttle because I need to climb... Oh, sorry, I'm diving. It's hard to keep the plane level. I don't know if it's my controller or what. Or it's just the properties of the plane. 3,000, okay. 3, Alright. Okay, we've got clearance to descend to 3,000 feet. Reduce thrust to idle and gently push forward on the stick to take us down. Pitch to about 7 degrees nose down to maintain 210 knots as we descend. Hey, perfect. That's where I am. 7 degrees right on the horizon on the nose about. Uh, we are still at 250. I can't seem to lose speed. I'm completely idled on the engines. I just need to bleed this speed before they penalize me or something. Uh, there's another landing strip right there to the left. There's a big orange glow on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Really nice. Yeah, sorry, I'm not going into outside views. I'm just, there's just so much to do right now. This is a lot of fun. It's nerve wracking though. I'm actually like apprehensive. I'm never <laughs> apprehensive playing video games, but I'm apprehensive right now. I want to be able to make the turn. I want to be able to land this thing without crashing it and killing people and myself. Oh my god. It's exciting. This is so much fun. Now I so wish I had a joystick and a uh, and a little throttle thing. So I'm going to probably look for those on YouTube. Oh, I just passed 3,000 feet. Right? I'm at 3,900. Sorry, I still need to keep going down. Oh, speed has come down to 230. So going idle, basically we're just floating down right now. Floating down, we're right on target on the heading Heading. we need to go, I think. Landing lights on, the flaps I screwed up and never actually turned them up or down. We are okay. at... Level off oh. here at 3,000 feet and bring the thrust back up to about 50% N1 to maintain 210 knots. I don't think we need to. I'm already at 240, so let's see. Let's level off. We're at 2,900 feet. There we go. Perfect. I am perfectly level. It's e speed to one eight zero knots. Slowing to one eight zero. Okay, okay, I'm at idle now right now. Reduce thrust a bit to slow to one hundred and eighty knots. Pull back on the stick a bit to keep the nose from dropping. Maintain three thousand feet as you slow down. That airport looks like it's in the hills. Am I going to be able to land there? Look at that. There's a big hill in front of me, and then there's a valley up there. I don't know. Look how okay, I'm at 210. I'm doing exactly what they want. Oh, now I'm losing speed. So I just increased thrust just a bit. Oh, man. I'm staring at that, that number, though, that little gauge, the horizon gauge on the altimeter. And the speedometer, is that what that's called? The speedometer on a plane? I'm losing altitude. About within 200, is that within tolerance or... Press or did they get pissed off? To lower the flaps to 8 degrees. The flaps will slow us down, so okay. bring the thrust back up to about 60% N1, so we maintain 180 knots. 
Okay, we are at 55% and 1. Orbit 526, turn left heading 230, vectors for the visual approach, runway 23. Whoa, we got some turbulence, what's going on? Whoa, whoa. 230, whoa. looking for the runway, orbit 526. Where? Here we go. Turn left, said turn left. Degrees. We should see the runway straight ahead once we roll out. Okay. Okay, oh, I see the runway. I need to give him more thrust. I'm doing a lot of speed. Inside. Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nice. We got runway lights. Beautiful. Really? So are we ready? Okay. Damn. Did you guys get all that? Lower landing gear, lower flaps are increased. Like this, the speed you land at changes depending on how heavy you are. At our current weight, our final approach okay. speed will be 130 knots. Adjust thrust to maintain 130 knots as we descend toward the runway. Okay, and I'm gonna kill. I'm killing my thrust because I'm already at 220. I seem. I feel like I'm high. When I go below 200, I'll drop the. Uh, landing gear I feel like I'm all the way to the left holy crap and then the plane is shaking now like it's not s wanting to stay steady get the feeling I need to go all the way to the right and come back to the left all right I've got no thrust right now we're just floating down we're at 3800 feet 3700 runway is right there dead ahead Got it. Tower now, orbit 526. Thanks. Glad Thanks, buddy. Orbit 526 with you on the visual approach for runway 23. Oh, wow. Orbit 526, okay. Glasgow Tower, your number <sighs> one. Clear to land runway 23. Wind <laughs> All right. Dropping Clear landing gear. We're clear to land, so let's run through the before landing checklist. Got it. It's a Got short it. One. Landing gear down. Flaps set to 45 degrees. Flaps 30 degrees. Landing checklist complete. Slap flaps 45. About 50 feet over the runway. Reduce thrust to idle and pull back on the stick slightly really? to touch down on the main wheels first. Then okay. slowly lower the nose. All right. The nose is just down right now. Am I lined up? Like it's <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so nervous right now. I don't want to crash this jet. Okay, palms are sweaty, check. Mouth is dry, check. Speed has increased. I thought, oh, has it? No, we're at 160 knots. We're supposed to approach at 130, right? Oh, oh. Whoa. Sink rate. Oh, oh. Stop. Okay, calm down. Sink rate. Okay, the computer doesn't like what I'm doing, but the co pilot hasn't said anything about me killing us and I am coming in as if I'm doing a crosswind landing Sink rate. okay I'm at the edge of my seat so are my passengers I'm sure the co-pilot thinks he's about to die we're gonna hit the middle of the runway straighten up oh uh oh oh shh okay you're over controlling use less pressure on the stick I don't think this is happening this is not gonna happen. You're oh crap. Use less pressure on this the stick. is not You're good. Use less pressure on the stick. We're coming in. We're coming in. I don't care. We are coming in. Oh, You're we're down. We're down. Use oh, we're down. On the stick. Brakes. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. That was ridiculous. That's not even possible in real, is it? Nice landing. Bullshit. Nice landing. <laughs> oh, Wow. Ground on 121 wow. Wow. Left on the next Sorry, I'm just still amazed I ate. The runway, stop, retract the flaps, and turn off the landing lights. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, you want me to taxi? I probably shouldn't have come here, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm just happy that we're in one piece. Is it because, I mean, the game's on medium difficulty, by the way. So they gave that to me. Oh, I wish I could do a replay. I don't even know if there's a way. Is there a way to do a replay? 
Okay. Will do. Oh, they're actually getting me, taking me to a gate. I'm dropping passengers off. Okay, we're on the ground. Let's take a look at my Bombardier. When one piece came in sideways onto that runway. That was awesome. Okay. Oh, we gotta make our turn. Hold on. So I was practicing uh, some taxiing before, and it's much easier to do it from this view inside the cockpit than that outside. I really thought doing it from the outside would have been easier, but uh, no. It's much easier to keep it lined up, speed steady on the inside here. I don't know if it's lined up. I think this is lined up. If you want to do the center line, it almost has to be where the master warning thing is. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. You got to kind of line up the master warning with the yellow line to be to have it on center because it's really hard to tell from where you're sitting where where the middle of the plane is at least here maybe in real life it's easier so look master warning is lined up with the yellow line let's check outside and yeah pretty much on the dot maybe I'm supposed to be a little further to the right it's a little past the master warning oh did I miss my turn no where is it Oh, this is nice and smooth. Oh, there we are. There's a big 737 we followed in. Okay. Let's hit the brakes. Tap in the brakes. Give it a little throttle. I completely killed the throttle, but uh, it's still... we're good. We're good. Okay, we are good, I think. There's a little van over there. Look at that. Oh, he's probably pulling out the luggage There's and stuff. At the end. Where? Pull up to the oh. jetway and stop. Oh, wow. Okay. Jetway. Where is it? Okay. Am um, I using this line here? Brakes, brakes, brakes. Am I making this turn right here? Okay. Wow. I didn't think I'd have to taxi all the way to the jetway. I thought this was a lesson where you just land and you're done. Holy cow. My heart is beating fast. <laughs> I so didn't want to fail, especially since I'm recording this. Oh, stop here. oh yeah, Excellent yeah, stop. Job. Stop. Mission resolution success. Oh, I'm so happy. Brakes. Brakes on. Oh, thrust backwards. No, I just want to show you from the outside. Oh, perfect. Is that perfect? I have no idea, but that's where they told me to go and they gave it to me. Yeah, that guy's at that angle too. The big uh, World Travel Airlines there. Well, there we are. We are moving again. I need to hit the brakes. Let's go back in the cockpit. Anyway. Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. For me, it was nerve-wracking. I hope it wasn't as nerve-wracking for you because I don't want you guys watching a video and getting nervous on YouTube. That wouldn't make any sense. It's here for all kinds of fun. But I had a lot of fun. I'm still rolling. Um, the same button that supposedly turns your brakes on doesn't seem to do it again, the parking brake. Anyway, this was awesome. And I hope to make many more videos with this. This game is a lot of fun. Real mission next time. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.